Uh, so Paul, when we're talking about Malaysian Indian food, it's actually quite different to the Indian food you might find in Indian restaurants in Australia or in South England, Africa. Yeah, South Africa, in the UK, right? The reason is that Malaysian Indian food is dominated by South Indian cuisine, which means delicious stuff. Like banana leaf curry. Banana leaf curry, which we're going to show you in this episode. We've got a couple of recipes on banana leaf curry and also we've got a special segment courtesy of the chefs at the Dorset Grand in Subang <laughs> and they're going to show us how to assemble all this and how it's served up right very very interesting and apart from that Malaysian Indian food also we got Indian mamak food Indian mamak food right mamak food which is like, like mee goreng mee goreng and also soup tulang which we really enjoyed in Penang which we're showing Mazna Merton is going to be showing us yeah she's going to show us an easy version of soup tulang essentially is what it is except she's using chicken which is a spicy uh, broth and also an easy version of mee goreng we have vegan chef Dave and he's cooking with Mazna for one of the segments and he's also showing us his own recipe for a vegan baru bao yeah, very, very interesting. Take a look. Welcome to Malaysia. Oh, terima kasih. Thank you very much. So finally we are here. So what are we yes. going to do today? I am going to cook, because you are here, I'm going to cook vegan. Okay. Uh, me goreng mama. Are you okay? sure? I'm trying to. Okay. Because my product, the instant uh, uh, me goreng mama powder, dry right okay. place, doesn't have any um, apa tu, uh, element of animal. Okay. It's only vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I was thinking to put chicken lah, kind of now I was thinking maybe something, something, mm, Chef Dave is vegan. Let's try to do vegan. Let's see what, hey, okay. what you think about the, uh, the, okay. the, the, the taste. Okay, yeah? sure, sure. All sure. right, oil, okay. and then I'm going to cook the tomato and the vegetables. Okay. And then I'm going to add this uh, tofu, mm. then this. Okay. Yeah, lepas tu, uh, I'm going to add this one, okay. and last is this one. Oh, Either last way, only, okay. Last only this one, because okay. this is already being cooked. Okay. Okay. Sure. So now it's uh, it's hot. hot. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Not, I never cook so. a mee goreng or mee goreng mama without onion and garlic. This is the first yeah, time. Okay. okay, straight in tomato. Yep. Just let it soft, you okay. know. Okay. Yep. This is my style, okay? Okay. My style. This is Mazna style, yeah? My style, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to add the. Tangkai. Tangkai. The stock of the, the stock, yeah, stock, yeah. leaf. So if this one it takes a while to mm. um, cook. to cook. So let's cook this one first. I'm cooking for about three, okay. three portions. Okay. Depending on you know the person. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, yep. you can, but yeah. you know this is a simplified one. Simplified instant. version, yeah. When you go when you go places, you know, sometimes mm. you don't get everything, especially when you live in Europe. Yeah. You make do whatever you have. Understand. Yeah. Sometimes I, I use um, apa ni? Uh, fish ball. Oh, okay, okay. They also have the vegan ball, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, my mi goreng mama normally for sure need to have the chocho. Ah, uh, normally yes. they put chocho udang, yes, but udang, I put chocho yes. sayur. Yeah. And then tau pok. Oh. Uh, tau pok, and then kentang. Mm. Kentang yang dah rebus. Yeah. Cut cubes, small cubes, add in there. Yeah. Uh, all these are like very important uh, element lah. Mm -hmm. uh, tapi this is just additional which you like you can add in and remove uh -huh. but sauce is the one normally i will make the sauce yes. on its own yes, right yes. but this is with the powder yeah so i just add tofu you know, tofu okay normally tofu is a bit more fancy than you know here. what Mazna is very confident don't care about the ingredient here that's for sure because it's just with the powder and she's very confident with the powder yeah that's what i'm actually like Waiting for, I want to taste <laughs> how good it is. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm more, I'm more nervous. Yeah. Okay. 
I learned that you know if you don't have an egg, yeah. you can use um, tofu. tofu. You just so scramble it, scramble and, it add in. and add it. Is it after everything is cooked or before? Before. Before. Yeah, yeah. So I can ah, yeah. do it now. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bahen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it now. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you just do that, so it give you the eggy ah, texture. Ah, okay. Um, the melekat dekat noodles. Yeah, yeah. Ah, right, right. Okay, okay. So it give you that kind of feel, lah. Okay. Mm, yeah, now yeah. I got yeah. it. Okay. So now I'm gonna put this in, mm -hmm. in here. Okay. Macam mana? Okay. Ambil lah ko, ibu tiga persen. Okay. <laughs> this is really heavy. Okay. okay. Why you do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add this. Oh, no need to mix with the water no or need, anything. No need, oh, no need. okay. You can have water later if it's too dry. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. But uh, I think Malaysian will be. Can I? Uh, bit ah, can. Yeah, can. It's too dry, lah. Right? Yeah. Ni bukan ramen or maggi mee. No, 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 Especially untuk orang-orang yang stay out of Malaysia, yeah. so they still want to enjoy the Malaysian flavor in a yeah. very simple way, lah. Can I add this one? Yeah. Now? So no need to add salt or anything. No need. No need. All no in need. your spice powder. Everything there. It's like magic powder, yeah. It's like yes. magic powder. Everything is there. So. Miracle, miracle. Yeah. Only the taste will show whether it's miracle or not. So <laughs> let's. Never, never. Check it out later. Okay, let's put this one too. Okay, okay. last tau okay. okay. Yeah. Right. I come back with the Mar ketchup. Mark's not nervous. Ah. Yeah, lah. Kata dia marah dengan Chef Dave. Apa Chef Dave? Uh, uh, because for myself, normally yeah. I put ketchup. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay cool. Uh, barulah. Nampak sikit. Uh, ha, yeah. ha. Okay, so. Can I try? Yeah, I want to try. Yeah. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, drum roll, drum yeah. roll. <laughs> it's like the moment of truth. Actually, I just care about the flavor. I don't really care like about the rest of the ingredient. Because that one you can adjust. But if your face, the ingredient is not just right there, then... You know, that's why even, uh, that's why even when I do Migori Mama, I always tell them, Oh yeah, just a bit of that. Ah, lima kasturi. Ah, uh, dengan lupa. Dengan uh, lupa. Uh, this calamansi is like one of the things that you know, it's like a a must to a add must. on it, lah. Yep. Just to enhance the flavor. Oh, it's asap. But in terms of smell, that I did, ah, flavor that I did, ah, itu dah rasa, ya, dah tahu. Ah, Bob. Someone is watching us. He's like, ah. When Dave is going to finish, I want to taste it, right? Okay. Mmm. Wow. Okay, it's legit. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. The flavor is there, which I'm expecting. If the flavor is not there, I think at the end of the day, it's no point of calling it mi goreng mama lah. Got the spicy. I think yeah. it also have, you know, the umami, you know, and yeah. also a bit of nutty yes. flavor and all yes. that. Yes. I, I don't know what ingredient actually exactly in the paste or the powder, but it give you the mi goreng mama when your flavor lah. Yeah. It's really well done. I think something that very um, convenient for people who live out of Malaysia and you mm -hmm. still want to enjoy mi goreng mama in a very quick way. Like, if you look at it, I think we done this like in five minutes time. Yes. Yeah, so... Thank you so much. Thank you, Chef Dave. Thank you so much. And everybody, thank you to Chef Dave. Thank you, thank you. Teaching us how to cook this. Um, I know, no, it's not recipe. Mama. <laughs> but with the technique, tadi kan, yeah, with the low, yeah. the egg, you know. Yeah, ah. yeah. So it's very easy to replace yeah. egg with tofu or something else. And just add in any vegetables or things that you guys like. Then, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Chef Hilango, how are you? Oh, hi, Jackie. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you today? Good, good, good. So we are at the uh, so, uh, Subang Dorset Grand. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. I stayed here just like a week ago and I couldn't believe how beautiful it is. Yeah. But I, I hear also that this place is famous for your banana leaf curry. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. And you're the designated Indian chef in this hotel. Yes, so I you're going to show me how to make banana leaf curry. Yes. Can you tell me uh, what you're going to make? Okay, today we're going to make a vegetarian dish okay. made of uh, cheese paneer. It's actually an Indian quality cheese paneer. Okay. Of, okay. So we're making the cheese first. Okay, sure. So I just add on the oil first, a bit of oil. Sure. Okay. Can you explain what ingredients are going in the cheese paneer? First of all, of course, the main dish. That's the cheese. The okay. Cheese, Did yes. you pre-fry it? Yeah, before? pre-fry it before that, and then soak with the water, so it will become soft. Okay. So you soak it first, soak it and first. then you yeah. pre-fry it. Pre-fry. How long do you have to soak it for? Uh, just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. And then uh, deep fry it until golden color. Okay. Right. Sure. So the main dish of today is we use the capsicum. Okay. And then onions. Onions. Uh, okay. And then the, after that the. Uh, so it's karai masala, we call it karai masala. Garam masala. Actually, karai masala. Garam masala, masala and karai masala are both different. Is that right? I have to Google it. I don't even know. I've never heard both of karai different. masala. Okay, uh, so what's in so it? So karai masala is practically uh, more spicy. Okay, sure. Because it's got a cheese, uh, sorry, chili, dry chili, okay. uh, coriander. So okay. it gives the spiciness. Okay, okay. Okay, the pan is hot today. So does yeah. garam masala always have the same few ingredients in it yeah, or uh, does it so depend on which chef is making depend it? Depend on which chef. Okay, okay, sure. Right. So the garam masala is more yeah. spicy. Okay, we go okay. for the... So you've got some oil in here. Yeah. And then we go for the ginger. Ginger. So how often do you have the banana leaf curry at the hotel? Uh, we do the promotion at August time. We do. Okay, sure. Most sure. of the August. Okay, sure. But best to find out from the hotel. And then Look after out for that, the promotions. Cool. There's some garlic. Garlic. Ginger and garlic. Just let it be a little bit of oil. Okay. Make your food dishes before sure. your health purpose also. Sure, sure. And the onion is just cut up like this. Make it a big pieces. Okay. And what's with the capsicum? Okay. This one is a dry item, so you oh, need okay. to add, I can add a little bit of water. Okay, sure, sure. sure. Chili powder. Okay. Pinch of chili powder. Is it spicy? Is it very hot or it's okay? It's okay, that's a uh, different for your taste. Okay, sure, sure. I like turmeric, a bit. Turmeric. Cumin powder. Okay, sure. Cumin. Okay. Cumin powder. Okay. Fennel powder. Fennel. And a, a bit of coriander powder. Coriander. Right. Okay. Then we give it a stir. Sure. Add a little bit of water. Can you just use a curry powder instead of all the different spices? Or? Uh, it's, it's, it's not the same. same. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. Okay. Because the name is Kadai, it's all in there. Okay. So you have to use the proper ingredients. Okay. Then only you can get the taste. Sure, sure. You pre-roast it without oil, right? You don't then fry we it. Add the paneer. The paneer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then the last, the karai masala. Karai masala. Yeah. Karai masala. I'm gonna have to Google it and find out. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Salt. Sure. As for taste. Sure. That's it. That's it. it. Smells really good, huh? Great. Are there certain dishes that you must have with the no? no? Just anything you feel like. Anything cooking. you feel like. Okay, interesting. And mostly the banana leaf that come from South Korea. Okay, so the, the idea of banana leaf curry is actually South Indian. South Indian. Okay, interesting. So the uh, if it's not in there, means we use the tiling inside. Okay, fantastic. This looks great. Okay.
oxtail. It's really good. Oh, there you go. This is the, the evening highlight. Yeah. No wonder it is a wild. Get this up to. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is the center of attention. That is fabulous. So it comes with a straw. It comes with a straw. Because... <laughs> you have to. For the, the marrow. You have the marrow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, Masla. Yes, Jackie. We had this uh, very intriguing soup tulang in Penang. Yeah, the soup hamid, wasn't soup it? Hamid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really yummy, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. And but you can do a quick and easy version. As usual, me being instant. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is instant. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna use soup rempah. Soup rempah. Soup rempah. Okay. Um, you can also find it in any shops again okay. in sure. Asian store. If you're in Europe or sure. in Malaysia, you can find. Uh, soup ayam sure. or yeah whatever okay normally the soup rempah that i'm using now it has um extra um to it okay yeah. so soup rempah translates to like spicy, spicy soup, soup. Yeah, okay. soup. Spice yeah, yeah soup spice yeah. soup yeah spice soup yeah yeah and yeah. like usually you would use like normally you use the uh clove <laughs> cardamom yeah. sure. Uh, cinnamon and yeah. thanis, okay. yeah, and then you put extra um, fennel powder okay. to it, you know, sure. and then coriander as well. Okay, that makes it rempah. Okay, and then sure. normally you you cook it um, uh, with oil, stir it, yeah. and it gets a smell. Yeah, that is a rempah smell. Okay. Yeah, sure, so sure. I will teach you, show okay. you, not teach you lah, guy. You cook. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's good. Ni apa tu the pot. Okay, so a just bit a bit of, of oil. Uh, yeah, because this uh, chicken is a bit oily already. Okay. Normally, I want to cook. I normally cook it with the um, non-stick. Okay. Sure. So I don't want too much uh, oil, eh? Sure. So let's see. So the version that we had, yeah. the version that we had was actually with like uh, lamb, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The lamb. I, I, but I think I had. Chicken. I had the the organ. I oh, remember. okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can use chicken as well. There you go, chicken. Yeah. Actually, it is nicer if you have um, oxtail okay. or uh, the bone, sure. right? Yeah. The bone, and normally to make it fast, of course, I will use the pressure cooker. Sure. Ah. Okay. Sure. Now I'm gonna add the um, the soup rumpa paste. Yes. The okay. So paste. this is like the dry paste. The dry paste. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah. yeah. So this already has all the seasoning. You don't have to add everything. sugar or salt or anything no, like that. No, no, no. Right? Everything is okay. perfect when you to travel. Sure. Like what we're doing right now. You know, when we travel, we cook. Sure. You want fast yeah, and easy. Sure. You don't want to bring all the ingredients wherever you go, right? Yeah. So, put the water in. Mm. There. So what sort of vegetables do you use? Potato normally. Yeah. It's a must for me, okay. my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Thanks. celery. Okay. Yeah. Hand for celery. For the vitamin. Okay. You're cooking instant, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to compensate the cooking instant, you put vegetable. You can put carrot if you want. Okay. And I can put later on is the onion and okay. the uh, tomato. So it have it has this um, sour taste. Sure. Okay. And Normally use lime. We have calamansi. Why not, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's it. And you that's wait. It. That's it. So I see that the soup's gotten cloudy. Yeah. Um, can you actually add coconut milk to this? Or? Actually, I was just about to say to tell you that yes, you can sure. make it more lemak. You know. Yeah, yeah. More yeah. nice and tasty. Yeah? yeah. And yeah. actually, this one you can also use for soup soto. Yeah. Soup yeah. Soto. Yeah, the... uh, soto ayam. Sure, yeah. Sure. Yes. You can use the same thing. Okay. Yeah. I like the uh, tomato because it gives a bit more um, um to it, sure. you know, and uh, you know lah, I like to do this sometimes with my, because add colors to my, uh, oh nice, yeah, so when you serve it, it's nice colorful, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah it looks really nice. Yep, that's it. Normally, we'll, I serve it together with this calamansi, you know, yeah, so not, I, don't, I, don't, I don't put it like separately, I put it together. Okay. So otherwise, you know, can somebody you use said, a regular lemon if you don't have calamansi? Yeah, you can. Lemon okay. or uh, lime. Okay. Yeah, in Europe, you use only lime. You don't have calamansi. Can you add tamarind in it? Uh, you can or something? Yeah. yeah. But but it would be different kind of um, flavor. Flavor. Yeah. Okay. But you okay. can. Sure. Because this thing is, this is your own recipe, right? This is instant. So 
How yeah, you yeah. like it? Yeah. Sure. You can have this with the aputo. You can have this with the bread. soup, bread, yeah, yeah. Bread, yeah. Yeah. bread or rice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Right. Right. So dark. <laughs> yeah, it's very rich, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Cool. It's ready. Close it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Cool. With masna. Alright. All right. No. Yep. Ready? Excellent. Yep. Let's go have rice. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Okay, Chef Elango. Hi, Jackie. You come again. What are you making us? Okay. Now, now we're going to make the chicken hariyali. Chicken hari hariyali. 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 It means uh, chicken cooked with the meat. Okay, chicken cooked with meat. meat. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So I see you've got some chicken pieces here. Yeah. So as long as I already blanch it to make it half cooked, so it's, and then I got a mint paste. So okay. So I like mix the paste with a cashew nut. Oh. So I blend it to okay. make the paste. Okay. So how are you going to cook it? This one uh, we got no need to add the chili. Oh, okay, okay. Same, right. Uh, right. Onion, okay. Ginger and garlic, of course. Sure. So the chicken you just blanched it. Yeah, just blanched. Okay. It's a bit of salt. Okay. So right. Same. Okay. Right. Same. Was the onion? Slice onion. Okay. Are there a lot of uh, vegetarian options with your banana? A lot, a lot of, a lot of. Okay. Lot of. Some people, they ask for it. Just, yeah, they just want if to be They got vegetarian. Indian vegetarian people, they will ask for it. Sure, sure. So, it, yeah, I can prefer for them, but it's not that kind of money. So, okay. So they can choose. Sure, sure. And then goes to the ginger. Ginger. I'm really interested that you thinly slice the ginger instead of in a puree. Is that is that how you usually would do it? Because uh, you know how at Indian shops you can buy the ginger puree, right? Yeah. But you prefer the sliced one. Because you, you can saw the ginger and the onion sliced on your food. Oh, if okay. I make it base, it's okay. nothing. Okay, you can't sure, that. sure. Okay, just for, for the for, texture. Yeah, you can saw. Oh, okay, yeah, for the, for the visual. Okay. Then go to the garlic. garlic. A bit. Okay. So you just fry it until it's aromatic. Aromatic. Mm -hmm. Then I add the spices inside. Okay. So this is the, the cumin. Cumin. And coriander. coriander. Okay. And a bit of fennel. fennel. So same amount of same everything. Amount. Okay, just uh, these three. This is cumin, coriander, and fennel. And of course the meat paste. Okay. So can you make this ahead of time and freeze it? Or yeah, you can, can. You can. Okay. Because cashew if you leave it outside, it will spoil. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the water bit. So no coconut milk in this one. No coconut milk. What's this leaf here? Ah, bay leaf. Sorry. Okay, sure. So it was in the paste, yeah? Do you usually blend the bay leaf or you no, just no, add just it? No, no, just Okay. For the base. Sure. Thank you well. Do you use cashew like this a lot in... Uh, Indian, yes. Okay. Then, what's in the chicken? Okay. Can you use the chicken raw or is it can, better can, to... You can use the chicken raw. Okay. It's uh, more juicier. Okay. You do it like this so it's faster because yeah. you're cooking big volume, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So this is not spicy hot at no, all? No, no, spicy. Okay. If you want spicy, then you gotta add the uh, chili. Okay, sure. Oh, cool. 
That's really easy to do, right? And then the last part is the mint. more mint. More mint. Okay. Yeah, mint we can get easily in Australia. So this will be easy for anyone to try at home, I think. Sure, sure. You can Google it. <laughs> so it's called chicken... Hari Hari. Hari Hari. Hari Hari. Hari Hari. Yeah. Okay. I think a lot of Australians would love to try making this. Anyway. Sure, one day you can try it. Yeah. So apart from chicken, can you use other kinds of meat or? Yes, you can. Okay. What a name of show which is chicken, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to make it vegetarian, sure uh, can, sure you can. can. You right? can use the pani, that's what you use, right? Yeah, you okay. You can just use sure. the gravy, yeah, the yeah. meat, thing, you can. Okay, great, can. great. Oh, nice. And both of them, I think, are gluten free as well, which is actually uh, a lot of Australians would appreciate. Fantastic. Looks delicious. Same in bowl. Green leaf. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much, Chef. We're going to take okay. some photos sure, sure, and then we're going to sit down and eat. Okay. okay thanks again. So just put it Okay, so Chef, you're gonna show us how okay, to, to set up a banana leaf okay. thing, yeah? Cool. Okay. So I saw that you put some water on the banana leaf. Yes. That's what we have to do. Yes, because you have to clean the banana leaf. Okay, so, okay, so a bit of water. And you want to use the dark side, yeah? Not the. Not, not, okay, great. And then, great. banana leaf, you have to put the, the bigger side on your right hand. Ah, I did not the know that. The smaller side on your left. Okay. So it's easy because you're using your right hand. Uh huh. To eat right, okay. So you're not going to use your left hand, okay. So you sure. can cover up more places. Okay, okay, interesting. So it's easy for you to move your hand around. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so here I got a pickle, lime pickle. Lime pickle. Yeah, lime pickle, and then uh, raita. Raita. So yogurt. Uh huh. And then a uh, homemade mango chutney. Mango chutney. Yeah. So lime pickle, mango chutney, chutney. and raita. So you got a sweet, sour, and a uh, spicy. Okay, sweet, sour, and spicy. So, do you always have these three here, or is it like can you have other types? Yes, I can have other types, but the most common things is this one. Okay, sure. Are these hard to make? No. Okay. Really easy. Next time we'll come back and you show yeah, us how sure. to make that. <laughs> okay. I'm really, okay. Then, I got a puppet there. Okay. These okay. are like the crispy bits. Yes. And I got a chili. Okay. This are you supposed to eat it? or? Yeah. This one has spicy soak in the yogurt. It's oh, soak inside the yogurt, okay, then okay. we fry the chili, okay. then we fry. Okay, yeah. okay. So right, yogurt, right. you just call it yogurt chili. Yogurt chili. Yeah. Okay. Right. What else are you putting on this? Okay, now we go for the vegetarian side so. Okay. Same. Okay, here I got the kalai paneer, that's why we do. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the what you cooked up before. So you eat it cold or hot? hot. Usually hot. hot. Warm means hot. Okay. Then I got a beetroot. Okay. It's a vegetable, so it's kind of a potato okay. beetroot. Okay. So how do you make that? Uh, same. Like dry the... chili. Okay. With oil and a little bit of mustard seed. Okay. Dry leaf, so spicy to it. Okay. Sure. Sure. North Indian and South Indian. Okay. <laughs> And then and we this got is a, a ready finger yeah, and try, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of food already. <laughs> and I got a pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. Pumpkin, this one I cook with uh, coconut milk. Okay, nice, nice. So all of this is vegetarian. All of this. In fact, all of this is vegetarian. So the, actually, the banana leaf curry actually is very vegetarian centric. Vegetarian. Right. Mostly, the South Indian people. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll put a little bit of salt okay. on the leaf. Okay. That's anyway. Just for seasoning or? Just for seasoning. Okay. There's a word Indians say uh, without the salt in your food, the food goes to rubbish. Really? So that's why they put a salt at the bit. So you feel not enough the salt for the food. Okay, they think it's out. rubbish. Uh, so <laughs> the food balance is not going to go, right? Okay. Uh, that's the Indians uh, call that word thing. Right, right. Oh, I never, I never noticed that before. 
Alright. Okay, next we are going in the non veggie. Okay. Right. So yeah. when you when we come and eat at this hotel for our banana leaf uh, dinner, do you, we start with just a banana leaf and you come round and, and, mm -hmm. and put all this on? Okay, sure, sure. First we go for the chicken. The chicken, the, the, the you chicken just made chicken hali hali. Mutton. Mutton. Chuka varuval. It's really spicy. Okay, so mutton varuval. Then varuval. Does varuval have coconut milk in it? No. No? No. Okay, but it's super spicy. Super spicy. But okay. for your husband, I make it less spicy. <laughs> <laughs> then goes to the fish. Fish. So you always have a balance of like uh, chicken, dark meat and seafood. Yeah. Depends on the guest. Sure. Some people prefer just yeah, uh, just vegetarian, vegetarian or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Wow. And you usually serve this with white rice. White rice. Okay. Today I'm using a basmati rice. Basmati. Okay. And, uh, and it's just like plain rice. It's got no rice. nothing. No, you didn't go to. Usually you two types of rice. One yeah. is plain rice, basmati, and then got a Indian parboiled rice. We call it parboiled rice. Parboiled rice. Okay. How is it different? Uh, it's uh, more healthier. The parboiled rice yeah. is more healthy? more healthy. Okay. It's less carbohydrate. Okay. Okay. Parboiled rice. Then the rice goes center. Okay. And you always eat this by hand. By hand. Okay. And only your right hand. Only. Your Gotcha. The rice is up to you. You want to add on later on, then you can add on. Sure. Okay. So I just put a little bit on. Okay. That's it? That's it. Bitter gourd. Bitter gourd? Okay. So it's like the crispy More veggie, bit. yeah. Okay, it's more crispy. veggie. Okay. So you always put the veggie in one side one and side the meat on one side. one side. So easy for you. To sure. This looks amazing. Maybe dal. Still more gravy on the rice. Okay, okay. Here I got a dal tarka okay. and a yogurt gravy. Okay. It's a pineapple yogurt gravy. Pineapple yogurt gravy or dal. Dal. This is the same dal that you get with roti chanai or different? No different. This one is a mung dal. We call it mung dal. Oh, mung dal. Mung dal. Okay. It's a small uh, split cheese uh, split. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's vegetarian also. Vegetarian. Okay. We can have the curry non veggie. The gas sure. Right. Yeah. So I'll just pour in. Wow. Rice. And mostly the yogurt curry. Okay. I prefer more to put separate. Okay. So I'll just put it in. Wow. Amazing. This looks fantastic. That's it, right? And uh, yeah, that's it. Well, well done, chef. Thank you so <laughs> Must take you a long time to prepare all this. <laughs> so, um, at Dorset Subang, Dorset Grand Subang, banana leaf curry. I've heard a lot about it, so I really appreciate you showing us how to make some of the dishes and how to assemble all of it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. You're going to show me how to make all these things. <laughs> all right, thanks, chef. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you again. The vegan chef Dave, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. Happy to see you back to Malaysia. So today I'm going to make uh, something, you know, very popular in Malaysia, especially when you go to banana leaf restaurant. Oh, yeah. yeah, so they will have, I mean, chicken curry, mutton curry yeah. and all that. But there's something, uh, they don't call it curry, they call it varuwal. Varuwal. Yeah, okay. means dry roast. So oh, they cook okay. it in... Um, actually a bit lot of oil okay. so basically they don't really put much water in it okay yeah even they put just sprinkle a bit here okay. and there so that the meat will cook so basically it will be just using oil to 
roast throughout the cooking process. Nice, nice. So, okay. but I'm going to make it vegan as sure. usual. So, not going to be chicken. Sure. But uh, I really want you to try this. So, I really like uh, prepare this. So, oh, this okay. is a heavy seal mushroom. Okay. Or uh, we call it monkey head mushroom or sure. lion's man mushroom. There's so many names for it. Sure. So. This comes in three different forms. One is the dried one. Okay. One more is the fresh one. Okay. And this is the frozen one. Oh, yeah. okay. And then the dried one. Dried one, it looks like this. I but, bought the dried one. Yeah, but one. dried one, I'm not a big fan of it after I come to know the frozen ah. one. Because the dried one, after you really clean and wash and everything, you have to deep fry and coat it with flour or something deep fry, really? and then only use in your cooking. And that also you should only put last minute and just give it to and take it. I went wrong. Yeah. I bought it and I thought, mm, this doesn't. Or work. else it will soak all the soup from yeah. all the sauces from the right. dish. When you bite into it, all the sauce coming out and right. it just tastes not good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. But the frozen one, you have no issue. It will taste exactly like the meat. fresh one okay yeah the meat not like the fresh one this will give you a bit of texture so okay. later you will okay. able to taste it okay. okay so basically for what we will uh now we're going to saute the main uh components okay so which i have here curry leaf very sure. important and dried chili this one like we call it like indian dried chilies okay yeah so this is uh, indian dried chili I've so never it's, used it. oh it's like very short and a bit spicy okay so this one and then we have uh empat sekawan in malay we call it cinnamon yeah. star anise clove and cardamom okay and Got a lot it. of onion so okay. i use like two big onion but you sure. can use small onions as well and then ginger garlic paste okay so sure. these are the sure. basic things so sure. shall we start yeah 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 Thank okay you. so so how is that uh, indian dry chili different to the normal one this one is more spicy okay and the fragrance is a bit stronger compared to the normal dry chili right, right. yeah so the indian love to use the short one uh, especially in India, in Malaysia, not that much, okay. but still people started to use it as you know, it's right. easy to get in cash and carry here. Okay, yeah, okay. the Indian cash and carry is like a I'm, lot. I'm gonna have to look for it in Sydney. Yeah, is it oil is really hot. I'm using yeah. coconut oil, but you can use any oh, oil. Okay, sure. So, once the oil is really hot, uh -huh. what we're going to do, we're going to just add in two things only, okay. which is the dry chili. Okay. As well as this curry leaf. Okay. Wow. Nothing else. Just close this for a while. Okay. So the dry chili you never soak it or no. you don't blend it into a paste. No, I think you always thing. use it like this. Okay. Yes. And then you keep them aside because we want the flavor of the dry chili and have our flavor of the dry chili and curry leaf infused in the oil okay. and then this one we take it out so that we will keep nice. this nice color at the end of the dish sure. or else our dish like once cooking it's all just red there's yeah. no color in it so now we can just start back okay now we can add in the empat sekawan we sure. call it the indian spices or in malay food normally we use this four together sure. cinnamon star and this cardamom cloves sure. and all that and just sort it for a while sure. and then we can add in the onion sure a pasta one in malay just means four friends yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> because normally we use uh, four of them together sure. yeah. yeah so this process is very important because you really want to saute them until they are caramelized okay yeah. you know in australia you can buy yeah. these frozen shallots but they're from india oh okay. yeah but once you defrost them they turn into mush you know because oh. like, they're frozen and they're quite like yeah. Okay, so then like two seconds, what we do now is this very important process, process adding in adding the powder. powder. So, so I have, have here, here half tablespoon of powder, 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 one tablespoon of powder, 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 one tablespoon of coriander, powder, powder, and then and all these are one teaspoon of garam masala, vanilla, cumin, and half teaspoon of turmeric. So just add all of them in. If you realize, I off the fire. Yeah, yeah. 
because we don't want to burn the spices sure, at sure. the same time we want these spices to really cook through sure. in the hot oil sure, you know so sure. that's why I, I off it okay now once it's really mixed well you can start back and add a bit of water or if you want to add some vegetable stock you can just go ahead sure. okay. as i mentioned while well, we don't add water but why i still have to add a bit here because I'm making a vegan version, sure. I don't have fat. Yeah. If okay. let's say if the chicken meat or what, it has the fat in the meat okay. and also the water from the meat will come out, so, so it will help. That's but true. since mushroom, I don't have any water yeah. inside and I don't have fat, so I have to add some liquid sure. in order to cook through these masalas okay. until they really uh, so-called pachaminya. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So, okay, so you can see the oil start to split. Yeah. So that's the best time you can add in your mushrooms. Okay. So these mushrooms, you said you mentioned they're frozen. When yeah. you defrost them, are yeah. they like wet or they're wet? Oh uh, no, this is how it looks like. Okay, just yeah. like that. And then I have some boiled potatoes. Okay. I boil them like about 80% to 90%. Okay. And then now I'm just adding in and just give a good stir. Okay. And add a bit of water again okay. so that all these are uh, well, just peel into the mushroom. Sure. Now you can add some uh, salt okay. as well as some uh, brown sugar. Okay. Uh, if you want to add like some seasoning, I use uh, mushroom powder. Yeah, yeah. Something like the chicken powder that yeah, normally yeah. I like mushroom use. powder. It's actually yeah. quite nice. So just add some. No need much. Sure. Basically, it's just seasoning, but you sure. can avoid it if you don't want as well. Sure. Then some salt. Sure. And then some brown sugar just to balance up the heat. Okay. Yeah, or else it will be very spicy. Is this? Uh, it's not jaggery. It's just no. Yeah, brown. it's actually jaggery. It is jaggery. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it's done. So we just squeeze a bit of lime okay. to just uh, balance up the flavor. Okay. And then we add in our dried chili and also the curry leaf. Sure. But to add even more flavors, we're going to just add in some cool. coriander leaf. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we add in all of these and then we will give them a good stir. Okay. So it doesn't have to on your, uh, you know, wash. You just have to mix them well. Okay, sure. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Just oh, I love that place. Yeah. Very Chinese uh, yeah, no. style, right? It looks like meat as well, right? Yeah, yeah. It tastes like exactly. meat. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. That's the best part about it. And definitely you can just put a bit more of, you know, uh, coriander leaf. And yeah, basically it's very simple and easy uh, water wool that you can make in like less than half an hour. Nice, yeah, nice. So. Beautiful. That's great. Sure. If nothing else, it saves you a ton of time, right? Just yeah. Cooking the meat would take forever. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much. Sure. All right. Looking Let's forward to trying try. that.